So now let's consider how do we write down the states of multiple qubits. So how do we write down the state of two bits? Let's start with a very simple question like that. Well, if we have two bits, then they can be in four different states. They can either both of them be in 0, 0, or 0, 1, or 1, 0, or 1, 1. So what's the case for cl classical, uh, sorry, quantum bits? Well, again, we're going to flip to uh, Dirac notation. We can have the ket 0, 0, ket 0, 1, ket 1, 0, and ket 1, 1. So any general state of two qubits can be written as follows. It's a superposition of all the states 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, weighted by some probability amplitudes, but this time we need four of them because we have four different states, alpha, beta, gamma, and delta. And again, the state must be normalized such that when we measure it, it gives the correct probabilities. But this time, the normalization condition is as follows. It's mod of all the uh, probability amplitude squared. When you sum it up, it has to be equal to 1 again. And again, in uh, uh, vector notation, we can write these kets as follows. The 0, 0 now is a column vector of uh, four elements, 1, 0, 0, 0, and similarly for the ket 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So you see that uh, this is a nice basis, nice orthogonal basis, with which we can express any general state psi. The very important uh, mathematical concept behind uh, being able to write the basis states like that is that of a tensor product. So how did we actually get these two new uh, qubit basis states? We took some state of the first qubit, let's call it A, because it can be anything, and we took a tensor product with another uh, qubit state B. How this mathematically works is that you have a column vector uh, for the first qubit, given by these probability amplitudes A1 and A2, tensor product, the mm, column vector for the second qubit, B1, B2. And this operation of the tensor product is defined as follows. You take the first probability amplitude, A0, and you multiply the whole column vector uh, for the second qubit, given here, A1 times the whole column vector. That will give you the first two elements in your new four-dimensional vector. So A1 times B1, that goes at the top, A1 times B2, that goes uh, below that. And then for the bottom two elements, you take A2, and again, you multiply the whole column vector of qubit 2. So you have A2 times B1, which is given here, and A2 times B2, which is given here. So really, in ket notation, we have this A, ket A, tensor product ket B, can be represented in vector form like that. For example, if we have two qubits, and the first qubit is in state 0, and the second qubit is in state 1, we write it as column vectors 1, 0, tensor product 0, 1. And you can see that 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. 0 times 0 is 0. And finally, 0 times 1 is 0. And similarly, we can also do it for more complicated states. We have tensor product of 1 with minus. Uh, so we have the column vector 0, 1, tensor product, the superposition, with an extra minus phase in here. So it's 1 over square root of 2 uh, times the column vector 1 minus 1. And that gives us this uh, 2 qubit uh, state, 0, 0, 1, minus 1, all renormalized by this uh, uh, 1 over square root of 2. So we, how do we actually apply tensor products to matrices so that we can describe uh, operations of mul on multiple qubits? It's a very similar logic. We have two matrices A and B. We take the tensor product between them. So what happens? We take the first element, A is 1, 1 of the first matrix, and we multiply the entire matrix. That will give us this region of this new 4x4 four four, uh, uh, matrix. So we have, I'm not going to read it out, but you can, we have A, 1, 1 times uh, the matrix representation of B. In this square, we have the, this element, A12, times again the whole matrix B. A21 times uh, matrix B, and A22 times matrix B. If you multiply it out, you've got all of these, uh, all of these matrix elements. 
or you can just write it in Dirac notation and you can see that it's way, way simpler. We write the A tensor product B operating on the uh, cat A tensor product with B can be written as A uh, matrix A uh, applied to cat A tensor product matrix B acting on cat B. That's all.